Hello, bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for many years and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, we are going to talk about probably the best vitamin C serum currently on the market and also two alternatives which are basically derivatives. So definitely stay tuned until the end of the video. Of course, if you are new, please consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. And you can also check my Instagram account, I am Cyril Laurent. So without further ado, this wonderful, amazing bomb ass product is this one from a U brand brand. This is Jeek and Gorgeous, the C Glow, which is basically the dupe of the Skin Cetical. The Skin Cetical's retails for more than 100 uh, euros like ooh, 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 very very expensive and get the price of this one you are going to be shocked because this is below 12 euros like what come on how possible yes this is basically 10 times less expensive than the one from skin surgical the ce ferulic mm -hmm. so before i tell you a little bit more about this um, what is very important of course with vitamin c is first of all is it really vitamin c because there are so many products in the market that are basically shady because the brands put the name vitamin c but guess what it does not contain vitamin c most of the time they contain a derivative of vitamin c which is a whole different story so vitamin c and what you should look in the nc list is arcobic acid and exactly it should be L-ascorbic acid because the L form is the one that our cells can use. So what does it do for the skin? It has uh, some important stuff such as it is a skin brightener. It also helps to alleviate some sign of photo damage, especially if you have been under the sun for many years. Of course, if you're on my channel, you already know that you should wear your SPF 50 plus every single day, obviously. It also helps to fade out all the dark spots, but most important, and I do find, and I do think that this is something that most people and bloggers, YouTubers and so on, forget about it, it's not this, it's the fact that it is a wonderful antioxidant for the skin. So they are pretty solid data, I would say, that have been done actually by the Dr. Pinner, who is the one who basically invented the famous combination of 50% of L-ascorbic acid of vitamin C, plus vitamin E plus ferulic acid. There is a really nice paper about this one, but all those studies has been done on pink skin. So even though pink skin is very reminiscent of our skin, this is not exactly the same as ours. But there is an excellent paper that has been published in 2004 that actually shown that a vitamin serum that contains ascorbic acid also works on human skin. So this is absolutely fantastic. And what does it show? It shows that this type of formula, they do penetrate through the skin, right? Despite all the stuff that you can read online, also from certain dermatologists, I'm sorry, but they don't know how to read properly some scientific paper. I'm just putting it there, but that is true. Uh, basically to show that l ascorbic acid, when formulated at a low pH or pH below four, which is exactly what this baby is, is indeed a potent antioxidant on the skin and in vivo it really works because it prevents the formation of a sunburn. Does it mean that you do not need a sunscreen? Absolutely not. My interpretation of those results is that the vitamin C is going to help the burn cells, so the cells that had a lot of damage uh, with UV to cope better with the side uh, effects. So Obviously, the best combo is to use your vitamin C with a wonderful sunscreen. This one is the Ultra Sun. This is the face anti-pigmentation. This one is pretty good, but I do prefer the fluid version, by the way. So this formula is absolutely 100% flawless. This is probably one of the best in the market because it is so cheap and just contains the good ingredients. So you don't have any perfume. You don't have any weird botanical extract. You don't have essential oils or etc. So I really, really enjoy it. So basically you have ascorbic acid, which is what we want at 50%. Then you have ethoxyglycol. glycol, which is basically an ingredient a little bit like butylene glycol that help to dissolve to dissolve other ingredients. But it's uh, but this one in particular is going to stabilize the vitamin C in solution. You have also vitamin E and ferulic acid with the preservative system here. So basically, it is ethyl exyl glycerin with phenoxyethanol. So super simple, but yes, super efficient. What I love about it is that most 
uh, vitamin C serum, first of all, when you get them, they are not 100% transparent. This one, when I got it in PR, it was 100% transparent, exactly like water, which means that it was extremely fresh, which is, again, something that you want. So the quality is here with this serum. Also, what I love about it is that even though it is very watery upon application, it still feels hydrating and also a little bit can go a long way so you can really massage it. The main problem with this form of vitamin C is because it has to be formulated at such a low pH or basically a pH lower than pH 4 that it could be irritating for some of you, especially those of you who already have a solid anti-aging routine using retinol or even tretinoin. If your skin is still irritating, this might be too irritating for you. So I have a couple of options for you. Either you go straight away with a derivative that I'm going to talk about like in a minute, or I'm going simply to show you how you can decrease the effect of a very low pH. And what you are going to do mainly in the evening, but you can also actually use it in the, it's very easy to do. So basically in the morning after you have rinsed your face, you are going to use an hydrating toner. So this one is the Curel, the Monster Lotion 3, or it could be my famous and beloved Adalabo Premium Lotion. Currently, I don't use any Yelnic Acid in the morning, and I'm going to do a full video about this. And then you are going to use the Vitamin C Serum, and this is going to help, probably because those ones have a higher pH, a pH around 6, you are going to dilute the effect of vitamin C. You then wait probably for two to three minutes, something like that. Don't wait until your skin is completely dry. You don't want this. And, and then you are going to do uh, the next step for your routine. You can, of course, use vitamin C in the evening, but not at the same time with your retinol. Because of the low pH, you may isomerize the retinol into cis retinol, which is basically something that you do not uh, want. Okay, so now let's talk about alternatives. Of course, some of you, this is going to be too much to irritate, to irritate in in your routine, so you have basically two options. The best one is simply to use a derivative of vitamin C. I would say that the one that is the most promising is the Ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate form. So this derivative is basically vitamin C with the palmitate group. The palmitate is a group that is a fat, basically a lipid that is going to up theoretically the vitamin C2 goes into the skin. There are some uh, scientific data to show that it does work and also helps to brighten the skin tone. But what I like is that we have few um, evidence to show that in vivo by ourselves, this palmitide form of vitamin C can be converted into vitamin C, which is exactly what you want. Remember something, the real power of vitamin C is that it is a real antioxidant. So the two that I like to recommend always, the first one is from The Ordinary, which is hence the name, the Ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate at 20%. I really enjoy this one. This one is a little bit oily. You can totally use it in the evening um, before or after you retinol or you simply dilute like four drops with your moisturizer. The other one that I prefer because the overall feel of the formula is way better but it does have perfume which is a problem from time to time. I can accept that some of my actives does have perfume when when really the formula is uh, the formula is there. This is this one from SVR. This is the Hydra Acid, the C20, that also contains 20% of ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate. Last but not least, when you are using an L-ascorbic based serum, something that is extremely important is that the moment that you are going to use it, be very quick. You open it, you use it, and then you close it tightly because you don't want any air to go back inside and also keep it in the fridge because like this, the vitamin C will less oxidize or at least less faster. When your serum starts to be uh, really orangey, it is time to stop using it. This is also why this formula is so good because it is not expensive at all. Also, when you're using it, don't drench your whole face with it because what might happen is that you will turn um, orange which is not necessarily something that you do want, but you can use a lot actually on your décolleté area, also on the back of your neck, on the side of your neck around here, behind your ears, and even on your hands in the morning to benefit. So go, uh, you can go crazy with this, especially on your body parts. So thank you so much for being here as always. Comment down below and tell me if you have any questions. Of course, if you did like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. 
and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos because like this you can be notified. Also check my Instagram account, I do a lot of lives usually uh, around 7 p.m. something like that um, so this is the, the time in Paris of course thank you so much and I will see you next time au revoir bye bye